Hello, I am Shanks. Um, welcome to my channel. You clicked on this video because you're interested on what the Shanks channel is about. Hello, and welcome to episode one of the Cyrus podcast. Um, now, this isn't technically a podcast. It's more of like a video podcast because you can see me, but people can also listen to this in the background. Um, I'm your host, Cyrus. Are you lonely sitting at your computer and have no life and you wish you had friends? Hey guys, look, it's Tails. It's Tails. So Cyrax is a really cool guy. I mean, I never met him personally, but I can tell you from watching his videos, he seems like he's a down-to-earth guy. Cyrax has done nothing wrong. He has done nothing wrong. Music biz Marty. Music biz Marty. Music biz Marty. Yo, yo, Marty. You think you're cool? You think it's cool to post pictures of babies on the community tab? Because it happened, it happened. I'll put it up if I really need to, but people believe me, so. Why do I get, like, I mean, so much hate? Like, why, why do you guys hate, like, like so much? Natalie, Alexis, I hope I did not pronounce your, your name wrong. Um, that would be horrible if I did. But she has been the target of harassment by different YouTubers. I don't think Alexis- Discord server, because it's like the Cyrus talk show, but it's a Discord server! I'm not really a bad person. If you actually took the time to get to know me, I'm actually a really cool guy. I like Sonic, I like Pokemon, and, and I do all these things, and it's like, people don't get the chance to actually know me. Discord, I never groomed kids on Discord. Just because I talked to one 15 year old, one 15 year old, that makes me a bad person? Cause I didn't talk to them sexually. They joined my, me with, freaking me was like under, well he was. I'm just telling you that it's, 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 it's fine to talk to, to 15 year olds as long as you're not talking sexually. That's why I was talking to Misty because. Like that, Marty. And then a kick. Like that, Marty. Why does he take off his jacket? <laughs> to let everybody know he means business. Hey, uh, hey, hey Cyrus, if you see this, you're a fucking pedophile fucking fucking freak, okay? Go get some help. Hello everyone, you look marvelous today. I hope your day has been good, and I'm sorry you clicked on this video. I hope I don't end up ruining it, and you can help me find some humor in all of this, because today I want to talk about this dude. Natalie, Alexis, I hope I did not pronounce your, your name wrong. Um, that would be horrible if I did. But she has been the target of harassment by different YouTubers. I don't think Alexis has done anything wrong. Cyrus was a creator on the platform who has gone by many names and had many accounts, his latest being Cyrus Talk Show. But if you click on his channel link now, you'll be met with this error message because he deleted his channel. Recently, he stuck up for our girl Carly and ended up getting called out for some pretty crazy stuff. Since most of his content has been deleted, I am relying on two amazing archivers, Quads Hoop Dancer and and hard on Omicron 2.0 for the clips of him that I'm using for this video. I will leave their links in the description below. Go and give them a sub. But without further ado, I'm going to roll my intro and we need to talk about the many problems with Cyrus. Carly's White Knight in not so shining armor. Karma's a bitch. Cyrus came across many content creators' radar in the last week due to him creating a video to stick up for the lol cow Carly, who I have covered on my channel on three separate occasions. Carly has been called out for bullying other disabled creators and buying her subscribers, among other things, and Cyrus made this video sticking up for her. Natalie, Alexis, I hope I did not pronounce your, your name wrong. Um, that would be horrible if I did, but she has been the target of harassment by different YouTubers. She's just trying to make YouTube videos. She's trying to be herself. She's trying to 
to make her YouTube career work. And um, in my opinion, from what I've seen, is it seems like that a lot of people are going out of their way to make her look like a bad person when she's not. I mean, I watched a few of her videos and I subscribed and I said, you know what? Most of her videos are unboxing stuff. Like her latest video was 11 hours ago, unboxing stuff from the market, um, talking about my trip and how you how you join members, uh, things I got from Wildwood, New Jersey. Uh, went on vacation, Wild New, New Jersey. Um, went shopping at LA Mart Vlog. It doesn't really seem like that she's doing anything wrong. And I know people are going to say, well, Cyrus, there's evidence, there's evidence, there's evidence. Listen, okay, you need to understand that what you're doing is wrong. Okay, because there are some YouTubers out there that are going out of their way. For example, Pretty Little Lies is a YouTuber that's all her entire content. Pretty Little Lies, and I'm assuming it's a girl. I could be wrong. That could be a boy. Pretty Little Lies could be a boy, but I'm not sure. Pretty Little Lies goes out of the way, and their entire channel, their entire channel is literally just just talking about Alexis here. Pretty Little Lies' entire content is just harassing Alexis. Like, that's her entire content is just harassing Alexis, and... I don't think Alexis has done anything wrong. You're gonna be saying, well, Cyrus, you haven't seen the evidence. Listen, people have accused me of stuff. So the evidence isn't always true. I realized this video existed when Carly posted a video thanking Cyrus for white knighting for her. I'm a good person. And if you don't like me, then block me or stop bothering me. Like, leave me alone, like Cyrus said. Leave me alone, he's a great guy. He might not have many subs, but he's gonna get there. So go subscribe to The Cyrus Show, cause he's amazing. He's gonna stick up for me and do videos about me. And if you guys don't, if you guys don't agree with him, that's okay, because he's actually telling the truth. Okay, I bought subs, yes, that was in the past. I did not buy recent subs. I earned them. You get, you, you earn them by doing content by content okay i don't have the money to buy sub i you know i have better things to do than buying subs i'm not the one who you know i don't care if i get subs i don't care for the views or the comments or the subs all i want to do is live my life on here to do my hauls my vlogs my content and that's all but if you guys want to continue to bully me the way you are you need help Thank you, Cyrus, for sticking up for me because you're an honest guy and, and that makes me happy that you're there for me and you're not one of them, you know? So please keep making videos of the, of the haters and telling them off because they need to wait. They need, they need a rude, rude awakening. I did not tell, I did not talk about any mothers. Samantha, if you had a kid, I would never talk about your kid, but don't talk about mine because you don't know what it's like to be a mom. I'm struggling to be a good mom. I'm struggling with my disability. I'm struggling with, with, with trying to get food. I'm struggling with my life. And all I need is happiness, not this. I am so sick and tired of being the low you know, I'm getting called a law cow when that's that's not even real. I'm not a law cow or is it low cow, law cow? I would just ask him what it meant. You know, you know, people don't want me happy in a relationship. They don't want me to have friends. They don't want me to do this and do that. They want to ruin my life, Cyrus, so they can get what they want. They want to get views. They want to get subscribers. That's not the way to go on the internet. You need to be... You need to love yourself than hurting other people because hurting other people is not the way to go. Yes, I made mistakes. Yes, I did things that I shouldn't have, but I've changed. I have focused on me. If you haven't seen my channel, I have focused on me. Let me show you. Come up here, Pear. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I've been focusing on me. There's not one video on here. The only that that I'm bullying somebody. The only video I did has, um, has, where's that video at? Let 
there's one video on here that has 798 views because I'm sticking up for myself and I'm tired of fake friends. But, and, and you know, I'm just standing up for myself. You know, if me and, if me and him want to do Q&A questions, that's our choice. It's not for you to take and, and harass me with it. If I want to go live on YouTube or TikTok, it's my choice. Like, big whoop. Like, you guys, this, I have changed, okay? I don't steal candy from kids. I go trick-or-treating for my daughter because she likes candy. So, I go, I because she gets her candy, but she wants more. And that one year, she was very sick. So, I was being a good mom and going trick-or-treating for her. But stop accusing me when you don't have the proof. If there's no evidence of anything that I did, which you're showing old evidence from two years ago, almost two years ago, then you're pathetic. You're delusional. But all I have to say, Cyrus, I'm not a bad person. So thank you for wanting to be my friend. These people have no lives. They just want to bully me until they get what they want. But thank you so much. If you want to go live with me, Cyrus, just, um, I do have a Snapchat. Um, if you want to add me on snap, that's all I have. I'll give it to you. But other all, this is it in my video. Please, guys, just leave me alone and let me do my content. And let me be happy. Because we're old, we're old. We're adults here. We're not kids in high school. That is all I have to say. And Cyrus, thank you so much for what you did. And I will talk to you later. Don't forget, if you guys want to join my, um, what is it? My members, I have one for $2.99 Alexis. Team Alexis is $4.99. $8.99 is um, a shout out. And then $24.99 is to subscribe and whatever the other ones are. Um, or you can or you can send me a super chat. Thank you so much, YouTube, for monetizing me. Um, now I can now I have now I can like put a shop on my YouTube channel, which I'm not gonna do, but I'm going to get off here because I'm about to either take a walk or have a snack. Just had dinner and I'm going to go talk, hopefully go talk to Cyrus to see if we can go live together later. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe, notification bell button for more videos. Adios amigos. Como estas? Como dueres? Bonjour. Bye. As I stated in my most recent Carly video, the first thing I noticed about Cyrus when I went to his channel was that he seemed to like sticking up for Cyrax, a lol cow and no win predator on the platform. That immediately gave me some creepy vibes. So Cyrax is a really cool guy. I mean, I never met him personally, but I can tell you from watching his videos, he seems like he's a down-to-earth guy. I mean, he goes out of his way, he makes music, which is cool. I mean, I totally support the guy for making music, because you have to have talent to make music. I tried making music, and it didn't really go that well. Um, Cyrax makes music, and you know, he's got the drums and the instruments and stuff, and the piano and the background of his room and stuff like that. So he seems like he's a good artist. Um, and he's just trying to be an artist. But you idiots, you trolls, are going out of your way to try and make Cyrax look like a bad person. Because Cyrax was framed. He was framed into doing the stuff that he did. He was manipulated into doing the stuff that he did. He was manipulated into doing those things. Cyrax was framed into doing what he did. And I don't care what you have to say. Because when you harass somebody like Cyrax, he gets harassed all the time. He was framed into doing what he did. And you're gonna be saying, well, Cyrus, what did he do? Well, the baseball bat, I can assure you this, when he ran out with that baseball bat, he was protecting his family. He was protecting his family. He was protecting his family. I can tell you that. It was protection of his family, and I agree with him on that because he was protecting his family. You don't walk on somebody's property. You don't walk on somebody's property. You walk on somebody's property, you're gonna get it. Because the difference is you do not do that. There are laws that will protect Cyrax in the court. Because I know he's going to court and I hope he wins his case. Because at the end of the day, he did nothing wrong. Music Biz Marty, Music Biz Marty is the enemy here. He has always been the enemy. Music Biz Marty has always been the enemy. 
he went out of his way to trick Cyrax into thinking, let's just say that this hard drive right here, this hard drive is a piece of paper. And Bit Music Biz Marty, he scribbled on the paper and he gave it to Cyrax and he said, here you go, here's a music contract. Cyrax believed it because he was being manipulated into thinking that he could do that. He was being manipulated into thinking that he would be able to do something like that, which he still can. Don't get me wrong. Cyrax can do anything he wants, okay? Because he, he's a good artist. He's got the piano. He's got the drums. He's got the equipment. So in my opinion, I feel like that Cyrax has done nothing wrong. It's Music Big Mar Music Biz Marty is the person that has done it wrong. It's people like BSR, I saw BS's BSR Live. It's people like him who try to get me up on their stream, when in reality, I don't want to be on their stream. I want to tell you the truth right here and right there that Cyrax has done nothing wrong. He has done nothing wrong. In fact, he even went as far as to call out Music Biz Marty, and I believe challenge him to some sort of duel, and things got a little bit crazy. Like that, Marty. And then a kick. Like that, Marty. Biz Marty attacked Cyrax and he purposely went out of his way to harass him and turn Cyrax into what he is today. That's what he did, is he turned Cyrax into what he is today. Biz Marty. Music Biz Marty. Music Biz Marty. Music Biz Marty. Yo, yo, Marty. You think you're cool? You think it's cool to post pictures of babies on the community tab? Because it happened, it happened. I'll put it up if I really need to, but people believe me so. Let me tell you something, Marty, you messed with me, and I know you really think you came on my screen. So let me tell you something, Marty, you don't know that I am the Aurora King, the Aurora King, and I am then knowing all this information and yet you don't understand that Cyrax only did what he did because you made him and yet you don't understand that Cyrax did what he did because you made him and I don't believe you because you forced him to do it all you ever do is you beat up a man his name was Chance his name was Chance Marty I think we're done talking about you Marty Let's move on to someone else. Let's move on to someone else. Creators who had covered Carly in the past ended up noticing that there were some creepy things being said about this Cyrus guy on the platform. So let's talk about some of these accusations. In that case, I'm sorry, I'm fucking Asparagan, you fucking cunt! Hello guys, welcome back to it. Hello guys, welcome back to Hello guys, what? I mean, if they use the Max Cross voice. Hold on, I'm gonna just... You have been caught viewing child uh, rape. Every single time I leave the freaking MCC, my max cross country this happens. Here where I live, you cannot have a fixed blade in your pocket. Yeah, of course it's made by an unknown publisher. I'm Tim Cook, the one and only. Ah, freaking goodness! <laughs> you could have got me a cockroach in a pear tree! Virtual desktop. Thanks for watching this Max Cross video, guys. Feel free to unsubscribe and dislike this video. This right here is a spring assisted stiletto. <laughs> I don't know, just get on the side. I could have got you a dog. I mean, I, me, Max Cross, am an iPhone supporter. I support Tim Cook, everyone. Tim Cook is the best person in the world. A hundred bucks. Oh! Ha! Now this is a butter knife. I don't even like milk! <laughs> what are we going to do? Bam. As you can see, we have a knife video today. I hate Steve Jobs, Tim Cook is the best. There's nothing even in there! <laughs> this is not a switchblade. I come back to Max Cross Country! Yeah, I call this one the Aurora Dance.
I'm not really a bad person. If you actually took the time to get to know me, I'm actually a really cool guy. I like Sonic, I like Pokemon, and, and I do all these things, and it's like, people don't get the chance to actually know me. Discord, I never groomed kids on Discord. Just because I talked to one 15 year old, one 15 year old, that makes me a bad person? Because I didn't talk to them sexually. They joined my, me with, freaking me was like under, well he was, I'm just telling you that it's, 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 it's fine to talk to, to 15 year olds as long as you're not talking sexually. Who is Elijah Cross, going by the name of Max and Cameron Cross, creator of the Jesus Hotline? Who are the people that support him, like Jack Norris or Mihail Halimanis? While the stories and motives of Elijah Cross go back years, this would take episodes upon episodes to cover and is not my main focus for you today. What my focus today is, is the danger Elijah Cross is to the children around him and his usage of fake personas to groom and roleplay with these children. I do not take these accusations lightly, and with all of them, will cement them with irrefutable proof so that Elijah Cross cannot make up lies of inspect element or being hacked. As I have already stated, he is a creator of many names, and he has been on the platform for a long time. He has been called Max Cross, Elijah Cross, Matt Cross, Hit Ash 23, Cyrus, and many other names. You see, he believes he is a content creator. He even ran a so-called show called The Jesus Line, in which he would take callers to discuss, well, religion and Jesus. So he thought he was somewhat of a Christian celebrity on the platform. However, he is someone who has tried to make content and then just been trolled to hell. He was called out in the past for running discords that role played with children and for having a spanking fetish. I'm going to leave links to all my resources down below, but check this out. Going on the Kadash 23 page, there is a lot to notice. There's an abundance of spanking fetish related content. The vernacular of Kid Ash 23 and the typing skills of him comes off as a minor or a young child. Numerous pictures depict Kid Ash 23 role playing with other minors that use DeviantArt. And all, all among this too is an absurd amount of activity on this DeviantArt account. Something I don't want to show you. I mean, I still want to get in a call with him anyway. Oh, yeah, see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to log into Animal because I'm not. Okay, screw it. I'm just going to go on my phone and just text just to prove that it's that it's me. I, I, I'm not even stalling at this point. I, I can't click these. See, I don't know how much time you have. So I don't have all the time in the world, obviously. I... There we go. Okay. <laughs> Did you leave? Did I leave? No. I forgot about that. I forgot that's you, where you, you do the thing where you don't talk. <laughs> I'm just... Alright, here is the... I will add you on the Animal Warfare account. It's clearly... I can't. Um... Well, you're going to add me on the Animal there, Warfare account. There, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is, that's me. That wasn't the one that was hacked, but that is my old. There you go. It, it owns the server, for crying out loud. There, I don't know what more you want. Can you, can you go on it again and just focus the camera on it, because the number was blurry? I'm trying to... What are you going to do with this? I feel like he's... You're going to be like, hey, man, I'm, I'm still going to... still kind of blurry. I'll read it out. It is literally hashtag 1521. That's, that's, that's as much as I can say. I don't know what you're doing with this. It's, so, it's sort of focusing, I, yeah. I don't think we even have any D DMs with each other. And... I'm going to do things a bit different here. So, this is just my display. I don't have Discord open in my taskbar at all. It's all fine and dandy. Let me just open Discord. As you can see, it's checking for updates. It's the normal Discord client. There's no modifications. And let me just find the Animal Warfare account that DM'd me under the tag 1521. The same tag that Max Cross said was his on that audio clip. Let me just disable streamer mode and see it. Animal Warfare 1521. And let's begin. Max Cross says, Who are you? I say, I am Shima, yada yada. And he says, Yeah, I bet you are. And I'm just saying, Random shit. And he's like, 
you, you were in the Kid Ash server. Now, Kid Ash, when he moved on Discord temporarily, he had a Discord server where he would roleplay and, um, and have a bunch of kids on where he'd roleplay spanking with it. And we found out, we came in and it was shut down, and I was in it, and somehow, Animal Warfare, the account that Max Cross admits on audio to using with the same ID, knows I was in the Kid Ash server. Why would a 25-year-old be in an in a underage DeviantArt spanking finish related Discord in the first place? So I just go along with it, and he's like, get Jake. Jake, as in Cheesy, one of his um, adversaries, and he tells him to join the server. And he's like, I, I got something I like to talk about. And he gives me this invite. Now, you can, um, you, I'm gonna put this invite to the right. Um, I'm gonna put the ID on here, right here on the top right, so you take notice of it when it comes back up. And I just say that, I ask for Jake, and Jake comes on, and actually, before I switch to the server, let me just show you something. Here's a different DM, and um, here is it again. As you can see, it's the same thing, so I didn't expect element, or I didn't add anything to inspect element it. So there's no way I could have modified it, photoshopped it, or any of that sort. And let's just take a look at the at the Cameron server that he had. Looks pretty fun. There's one of his alt accounts that he abandons. And let's take a look at chat. I'm sure it would be great. New chat, what a pussy. And I ping Kidash, because when I join, it's only Kidash on the server. And Kidash under ID, ID of A053 says, I am Kidash23, and you will never see Cameron. Thank you, Jake. You, I don't, you, I don't even, like, as you know, Max and Kidash, they have a really weird way of typing. He goes, I love kid butts. I love kid butts. But hey, we never had this conversation because the channel will go down tonight and I'll move on with my life and continuing to do my job while you continue to search for me. I'm admitting it right now. Nothing's going to stop me. And if you scroll down, also, hi, Elijah Stephen Christ. Yep, that's me. Nice job proving to us that it's you. He just spams spanking finishes, and he he on of, he eventually leaves. But it doesn't just end there. We have audit logs, and audit logs can't be faked. Let's take a look. Hmm. Let's see. Made changes. Made, oh, interesting. Remember that invite link that Animal Warfare, aka, AKA Max Cross, gave me? It's the exact same one. He created a bunch of them. And what else did he do? He patched ownership to Kid Ash 23. Now, that's pretty weird. Why would a 25 year old pass ownership to a parent minor who role plays on DeviantArt with spanking fetish randomly and out of the blue after wiping this channel? And it doesn't get better. It gets better, I mean. <laughs> um, Kid Ash 23, guess what? He kicks Animal Warfare 1520. He kicked Autoja and he removes the invite link that Animal Warfare gave to me, and he removes all the invite links. So, isn't it kind of strange that Max Cross, a 25-year-old Christian who doesn't like anything sexual related, randomly decides to give ownership to a miner who owns a DeviantArt that randomly happens to join a server dedicated to the Jesus Hotline, who then, after getting owner from Max Cross himself, says this and leaves the server. That's just a tiny bit suspicious, but hmm, I'm not the judge. And for icing on the cake for the amount of proof we have, here's a video of Max Cross that he made himself. I'll let it do the talking for me. Let me go. Let me go. Never. Let me go. Uh, what are you doing with the camera? What are you doing? I'm going to give you Max a spanking. You know, one time I gave him this very bad spanking, I had to woo to give him a bad spanking. Okay, Max. Uh, yeah, I sure, yeah, we sure did. We had to give him a bad sp What the fuck? Since Cyrus had been called out for grooming underagers on Discord, it was found out that he was an easy person to troll, and so the trolls began baiting him with fake accounts as well. This led to real accusations amongst many baiting trolls trying to catch the guy being creepy with girls, which was apparently not hard to do. I never groomed kids on Discord. Just because I talked to one 15-year-old, 
one 15 year old. That makes me a bad person because I didn't talk to them sexually. They joined my, me with, freaking me was like under, well he was. I'm just telling you that it's, 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 it's fine to talk to, to 15 year olds as long as you're not talking sexually. That's why I was talking to Misty because. A while back, the account of K-23 had posted a picture of Jake and pretended to be him and asked if he was cute. While Max has since deleted this, I have made sure it's been archived for, for years to come. But first we must answer, who is Jake? Jake is infamous to Max Cross, someone who has been involved with him for years and still is a minor. This is a picture of Jake when he was 13. Max took it via screenshot during a Discord call and for years has held on to a picture of a minor. Eventually, he made some odd statements about Lollicon, which is illegal as CP in most countries, including his. Here's something that I don't get. If Lolly is illegal, then why is it on Google? Literally, you search that up and it's on Google. You type in L-O-L-I and it pops up on Google. Not, a, not separate websites, I'm talking Google Images. I'm talking that's the first thing that pops up, you know, when you search it. So I, I don't understand. I don't understand at all, I have no idea. But it's just something that I wanted to think about. Something that I wanted to think about because if it pops up on Google, then it must not be illegal because it's popping up on Google. That's just my personal opinion. Mm hmm. Why? Why is it popping up on Google? I don't understand. It's just, it pops up on Google. I searched it up. I did search it up and it popped up on Google. Google images. I didn't go into any websites. I didn't go to any links. It just popped up on Google. It popped up on Google, people. It popped up on Google. So seriously though, why, 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 why is it popping up on Google? Can somebody explain that to me? Somebody in the comments, please explain that to me. Cause that's something that I want to hear about why it's popping up on Google. And then he also admitted to being involved with CP himself, which led to everyone calling him the P word. You know, this one. Oh my god, we're breaking the VC. Guys, Jack Norris loves child porn and wants to fight to Angola. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe Jack has child porn. My internet's dying. <laughs> No, I mean, just to be honest, it's not that not hard to get. <laughs> what? What did I'm you sorry, say? It's not, it's not that hard to get if you wanted it. I mean. Whoa! Shut the fuck up! Hey, Jay, are you seeing this shit? <laughs> I, mean, I think Gluten remembers uh, the day that I sent him that picture. Hey, yo. I do remember. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm a little, little degenerate. Well, sure, sure, I sent it because why not? Just to prove that I, just to show that I know how to use the deep web. This is the it's weirdest. Like, shit what ever. did he try and send? What did he try and send? <sighs> Something wrong. A picture yeah. of a kid's ass. Is that Lewis? No, that's heads up. Yo, shit. Yo, kill yourself. So now people all over the internet are becoming aware of who he is, and he is not happy about it. Whoa. <laughs> Why does he take off his jacket? <laughs> to let everybody know he means business. Hey, uh, hey, hey Cyrus, if you see this, you're a fucking pedophile, fucking emotionally retarded and mentally retarded fucking freak, okay? <laughs> Go get some help. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this fucking guy's insane. I can't. <laughs> Fun. Be I try, I really do. It'd be funny if, if he just, like, got, just, like, kept taking his clothes off and he just... He was just naked, sitting on his couch. No, ew, what the fuck? I don't need that <laughs> mental imagery. You know what he did after the stream, though? And I was so pissed, because I was watching your stream. So I saw him. I Hello. Emma, Whoa. hold that thought. I'm going to call this number. What number? The one on the screen. I don't even think that's connected anymore. It's, it's probably, probably not, but let's try. 
<clears throat> Jesus Christ. I mean, you never know. Oh my God, if he picks, I'm going to die. <laughs> right. Okay. Hey, everybody watching, call that number. Yeah. Hello. That's I have no Noah. idea. I know. I'm not a pedophile. Say that one more time. 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 Go ahead. Say that one more time. 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 Dude, I showed this to Sid the other day, and she was like, "That he's a psycho." He is a psycho, and you know what happened? Like before we got the soda, you know what this fucker did during your stream after this shit happened? Wait, during my he, stream? It was during your your stream. Yeah, it was uh, last week during your stream on um, Thursday. So during your stream after this shit happened, this shit that we're watching right now, or no, no, I'm sorry, the next one we're gonna watch happened. And then he came back on like an hour later and did a short. And I would, I'm the regret that I have in me right exactly, now. Exactly, because you can't. I'm sorry. That I didn't, the regret that I have that I didn't screen record it. I was so pissed. He came on stream, dude, and he was fucking like struggle breathing. <laughs> and his eyes were pointing in two different directions. And he was fucking, he cocks his Glock and starts waving it around. What? <laughs> He's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, you fucking trolls, you guys, you fucking, you want to fucking play with me? Yeah, I don't need a bat, I don't need a bat like Cyrax, because I got this, and I'm like, what the fuck? Before I could screen record, he deleted the video, I was like, no, I was so mad. I'm like, are you allowed to own a gun when you can't see? I hope you can see Max in a new light. He, he is not the... The simplistic, the the funny dude that makes Jesus Hotline videos. He's an active child predator that takes advantage of kids, pretends to be a kid, and role plays with kids. It's only a matter of time before this becomes physical for him, and we must keep this in mind. Oh, in that case, I'm sorry, I'm fucking Hispanic, you fucking cunt! It appears Cyrus began his channel as a Christian YouTuber who ran his call-in Jesus show. It was reasonably successful considering the type of content. This was in a time before Jesus got you lots of views, I guess. But he gained the trust of enough people to form a community. At the same time, he was pretending to be a young child in an account he made that was actually based on a real child named Jake. He built a Discord community full of minors and would post as both himself and the underager in order to talk to underagers inappropriately. Eventually, he talked to a minor boy who was 15 years old and ratted him out to the adults in this community who have tried to speak out about it ever since. Whenever they speak out about it, he deletes his entire account and takes a hiatus from the internet. Then, when he feels the so-called trolls may have moved on, he creates another account and tries to create content until these so-called trolls find him again. Cyrus has flipped out on camera on numerous occasions about these trolls and haters, and there is an entire archive dedicated to a-logging his odd behavior. These aren't trolls. These are people who are worried about his behavior towards minors and his constant appearance online in spaces where minors could be present. It isn't odd to think that he stuck up for Carly because he found out she's a mother of a minor child. He keeps on fucking up by doing things that garner him lots of attention, so he can never stay under the radar when he returns to the web after a break. This latest time, he fucked up when he tried to stick up for both Cyrax and then Carly, who are two lolcows that have quite a bit of eyes on them. I mean, you cannot stick up for either of them and go unnoticed. So, now we have found him again, and just like all the past times, guess what? He has decided to delete his account. He did put out one last message to all of us before his departure, though.
So I have been waiting to say this for a long time. It hurts me to say this to my Tur fans. In all honesty, I know I say I am going to leave 100 times, but this time, I am for sure, I am going to stay gone for a year or two. I am waiting to move on with my life outside of Discord, doing YouTube, there is so much. <gasps> Here, there is so much drama now, I feel like it's best time to go. My time as a YouTuber had come to a end a long time ago. I know people won't take this seriously, I get it, but this time I am for real. I am giving my fans permission to move on. Oh gee, thank you. I had a lot of fun, honestly, I want to move on with my life. Doing YouTube was never going to be a permanent thing, as fun as it is. Is. I feel like I need to focus on my responsibilities in life. Like not trying to spank minor children? Honestly, most of you have been with me from day one. Some of you have been with me since my multiple channels, aka Max Cross, and I want to thank you for coming along the ride. Boy, has it ever been a ride. I got to meet a lot of nice people on the internet, but I also got to see how tough the internet can be when it comes to drama. I know that the trolls are going to think they have won once they realize I have been gone. They haven't won. They're still low life. It really is sad to be saying this because I know it's time for me to go. My YouTube career kind of died a while ago after Max Cross got taken down. By false evidence, I know people want to stay in contact with me, so what I'm going to do is provide a email in the description. This is not something that you should spam telling me to make content, just something where you can stay in contact with me. And you are not allowed to use it if you're under the age of 21. Quite frankly, I haven't really felt the same since the Max Cross channel being destroyed. That was my passion. I built that thing up since 2012. The only reason why I keep making videos now is just to give me something to do. I'm being honest with you right now. Ever since Max Cross died as a channel, I have wanted to quit. The sad reality is no, not many people are going to understand exactly what happened to Max Cross, and me telling the story to relive the channel is bad for my mind to be completely honest. With you, doing YouTube videos is more of a chore now instead of fun. The reason why I continue is because of the loyal fans, which I can't fake you enough. Some of you are idiots and some of you are actually nice people. Yes, he fakes all of us. Honestly, if you're still watching this by this point, I want to thank you again. Because here's something I want to tell you, it's crazy, is it has been, you have been with me, think about it, multiple dead channels. I continue to do it. So now I'm going to explain the question that everyone has been asking for years. Are you a chomo? Who am I? Who is the real me? I don't even think he knows. Question marks and exclamation marks? Well, I'm Elijah. That's, that's who I am. That's my name. All the other stuff was characters and acting. I know a lot of people, most of you don't know me, the real me. Thank most you. of the time I'm in character or doing a skit or doing a service like Comet Protection Services, which was a joke. I like computers. I like Steve Jobs. Goodbye. Thanks for the fun times. I'm just glad I was never one of his chur fans. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Hey, Google, you know Jesus loves you? Jesus loves you too, Google. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. There are other things we can try. Let me teach you about Jesus. Yeah, hello? Uh, no, no, I, I was I was unaware of an unknown purchase. Through Discord? But it, $400. Okay, it failed? Okay, thank you. So somebody must have hacked me, right? Yeah, yeah, just, I'm sorry. Just get the guy's IP address. I'm sorry that this had to happen. I'll take care of it right now. <laughs> Asking, hey, aren't you gonna take revenge on the guy who hacked you? Hey, Mac, aren't you gonna take revenge? Hey, hey, hey. 
Like honestly, I'm not taking revenge. The only thing I'm doing is sitting and binge watching Mau Mau. That's what I do. I read the Bible and watch Mau Mau. So if I want to take revenge again, then maybe I'll grab my AR gun and head down to Aurora Co. Oh, that's right, it's gone. And if I want to come and blame someone, the only person I blame is Lucifer. The only person I blame is the devil. So is the devil, because really at the end of the day, when you try to raid my show, all you ever do is give glory to Lucifer. To Lucifer. Lucifer. So every time you try to hack my bank account, why you gotta raid my show constantly like hit the red X? I said hit the red X! Like every person hacking my show, show, everyone hacking my Discord show. I don't get it why you gotta be such a freaking menace. I don't get it why you gotta be a humanized demon. Honestly, I try to convert in love, but honestly, I can't deal with the fuss. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll go down and get myself a Mau Mau. Maybe I'll go down and get myself an Ash Catcher. Maybe I'll go down and get myself these shows to watch. Make me feel better watching it on VHS. That doesn't stop the fact or my reality that you're trying to shut down my freaking show. Bobo the Satyricol says, I made a man cry. Isn't that good? Yeah, isn't it cool that you made a grown man cry? Are you laughing about that? Is that on your fi? Maybe it's on the thing, the to-do list. If it's on your bucket list, I get it. But really, at the end of the day, why are you trying to ruin my freaking show? I don't understand. You stupid weeaboo, are you a furry? Or did you come from Reddit? I don't even know. So how about you shut up, put down the book, just put down the hacking tools, get to my book. Let me tell you, this isn't a war, it's just faction. I believe in God, so it's a reaction. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I got people that love me too, but when people try to attack me, I don't really like it, so let me tell you that. Rat a tat tat tat, rat a tat 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 tat, rat a tat 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 Try to hack my bank account, steal four thousand dollars in your natro. Tat 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 tat, and I got manic makes you sitting on the side. So if you wanna hack me, try better next time. Cause all I gotta say is I believe in Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus Christ. Christ.